Hello and welcome or welcome back to this channel. If you are new, my name is Jen um, and I wanted to take a couple minutes and share with you um, where I get uh, my photography prints and also art prints printed up. And this can be for anybody. Like even if you're just a mom that wants to print out better pictures of your kids. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I use Shutterfly for many, many years. You know, great company. Um, it wasn't about until two years ago where I wanted to begin to sell some of my photography prints. So I kind of wanted to step up my game a little bit. Um, and I had come across the term G-Clay printing. I'm not an expert in that, um, but if you've heard the term before, then you're probably on the same page. Um, Google it if you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but it's just, it's a higher standard of, of printing. Uh, and I had actually just ordered uh, some more things from them and I have it here. So I'm like, oh, why don't we just like kind of unbox these and I can um, show you what I had gotten and tell you about the site that I had found. So the name of the site is G Clay Today, G-I-C-L-E-E -E Today, T-O-D-A-Y.com. I love this company. Um, so in terms of if you are an artist looking to either sell your photo prints or art prints, they do drop shipping um, and doesn't cost much at all. So what that means is, uh, like let's say I have some of my photo prints listed on Etsy or my website. Somebody places an order, I go on to the G Clay Today website and I will order that print. So the person has already paid me through either Etsy or my website. I will buy the print off of the site and obviously, you know, I mark it up a little bit so I make a little bit of money off of it. I will purchase it from here and click the drop shipping option and put the customer's address in. So it will be sent directly to them, um, which saves on shipping from me purchasing a print or having to spend <laughs> tons and tons of money on like a super fancy printer for high quality professional you know printing services um so i don't have to order it have it shipped to me then me rebox it and ship it out to the customer so i love that they have the drop shipping option i use it all the time if you have uh you know business cards or things with your information on it you can actually mail them like i sent a stack of them to um the g clay today company so there's also an option that when somebody places an order and then i place an order through here and drop ship it to the customer um i can check a box and they will take that information on my business card and place it in the package as well so my hands never even touch it but the customer receives it with my business card in it and it looks like it came from me like i said i use it all the time um they have it's a little overwhelming because they have a ton of different kinds of paper available I would recommend um, you pay a couple dollars, but they will send you this packet of the different kinds of paper that they have. Um, and you can actually feel, you know, the texture of the different ones. So I'll tell you the ones that I use. Um, <laughs> there's a ton of different ones, like I said, but so Somerset Velvet is what I use for my art prints. And then for regular photographs, here we have uh, Luster, and then there's one called Chrome Metallic, and for certain pictures, like I don't know if you'll be able to pick up, you know, on their example here, um, and I have a hard time explaining like what Chrome Metallic option is to customers, but it just, certain things like it just pops, and it's gorgeous. Um, so before I even open this box that I have here in front of me, just things I'd ordered in the past. So here's like a little five by seven of one of my art prints. And this is on that Somerset velvet um, paper, you know, and it definitely has this amazing texture to it. You know, G Clay today, their tagline is professional, affordable, archival. Um, really, truly amazing, amazing quality. Uh, and it is like super cheap, super affordable. I love it so much. So there's that one. And then, so here's a photograph. This is a five by seven and it's got that chrome metallic finish on it. And again, I don't know how much the camera will pick up on it. But this is a photograph I took at Watkins Glen. I'll kind of move it in the light and uh, you know, if it picks up on any of that finish, great. If not, sorry, just believe me that it's, that the chrome metallic finish is amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and just open up and take a look at the ones that I had ordered here. It is our county fair next weekend. 
and I entered some of my artwork and photographs, um, you know, into the, some of the categories. And uh, a couple years ago, I did that and brought home a couple of blue ribbons. And so it's always exciting. I'll be entering um, an oil painting. Should I have it here behind me? I have to throw it in a frame. Um, but I'm going to enter this, my shark. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to enter that, and I have a watercolor, and then for photography, they have a couple different categories. Uh, so I entered a couple different categories for that, so that's why I had ordered these here. So I'll show you those. Oh my gosh! Oh, I love this one so much! Okay, so th there is a painting I had done, and actually... Maybe we'll spin the camera around so you can see it. Because I have it on the wall here. And I had not um, had any prints of it printed up yet. Um, so for my prints, you know, obviously I'll, I'll take like a picture of it. Um, and then I do use Photoshop, uh, you know, just to touch it up a little bit, make sure everything's straightened, straightened out and everything. Um, this is, oh man, <laughs> I can tell like by looking at the, the pic, the painting on the wall that's the original and looking at the art print in front of me, like in the editing process on Photoshop, like I must, must have touched it up to kind of accentuate some of the details. It looks so good. Okay. Let me spin the camera around. Okay. There, there's the painting, <laughs> the original painting of the castle back there. Now, bring this back down. How's that? I'm definitely going to be ordering more of these art prints of this castle. Oh, I, I just ordered one just to see, like, how it would look. It's like a test run. Oh, and the colors on this. Oh, these other ones. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait to show you the other ones too. Okay. So here, here is the art print. Oh, I am in love with this. So this is an 8 by 10 And I was talking about like the detail on like the brick there. Like it, that just pops. I'm like so excited with how beautiful this print came out. Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> okay. So that is an 8x10 art print. And like I said, I, I print I print all my art prints on Somerset Velvet paper. I mean, it just, it looks stunning. It has like a little bit of a texture to it. Um, it feels like, you know, really good quality. Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> okay, so now... Onto the photos that I ordered. Oh, and this is nice. So they put them each in their own um, plastic sleeve. So this one, these are all 8x10s. So this one has the chrome metallic finish on it. <laughs> I'm going to show this to you and you're going to be like, what the heck am I looking at? Um, and actually I'm entering this one into the category of macro photography. So here is this. So first of all, I just love this picture. And oh boy, I had never printed this before with that chrome metallic finish. And like this, oh, I love this so, so much. What I had done for this, <laughs> this is when I had gotten uh, my new camera and I was playing with like the macro setting. And I took a, a clear Pyrex dish and I put a little bit of water in it and a little bit of dish soap. And then I, I had some scrapbook paper uh, that was kind of semi-see-through in it, but it looked like a piece of like sheet music. So I laid that down and then put this, the Pyrex with the water and the dish soap on top. And I shone like a light underneath it. And then <laughs> used the macro setting uh, just to get the, the details of the bubbles in the dish soap. Oh! I love that so much. 
Okay. I'm kind of afraid though when I enter it at the fair, you know, when they're judging, they'd be like, they're not going to know what they're looking at. <laughs> I mean, which is okay. That's kind of like the magic of it. Like I just, oh, beautiful. Okay, this next one. So this one I'm entering in the category of um, architecture. <laughs> And so this one is just, we are on a Ferris wheel. This is a local amusement park here uh, with the sunset on Lake Erie. Um, I just, I love this picture. So I don't think this one has the chrome metallic. It's just, this is luster, which is what I would normally use uh, just for regular photos. Ooh, this one does have the chrome metallic on it. And as I'm like shimmering it in the light, the wood Oh, the wood panel looks really cool. Okay, this one I'm entering into the animal <laughs> category. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I'm looking at like this top wood panel and just the way it kind of looks in the light. Like that's that chrome metallic finish. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Okay. This one is another one has the chrome metallic finish on it. And I just, this is one of my favorite pictures. And I actually took this picture right here at my, my window. Uh, like I set out bird seed for the birds. And then I would sit there and wait for them and take pictures. Um, and this one is just, I love this so much. And with that chrome metallic finish, oh, this is one of my favorites. I like that one a lot. Okay, one more. This one also has the chrome metallic finish. Uh, and this is the first time I've printed this one in the chrome metallic finish. And it is gorgeous. So this one I think I entered into the landscape category. Uh, this is a picture of our, our downtown. Um, there's kind of like a park in the middle of town. And in the winter season, they, they decorate all these little like Christmas trees. We had gotten like this massive snowstorm, like it just dumped so much snow. Uh, so I went down to the park with my camera and oh, it's, it was a beautiful, beautiful night. So again, there's that one with the chrome metallic. So again, even if you aren't, I mean, I'm just a hobby photographer. Um, but even if you just have a nice picture that you want to have printed up, like I would highly, highly, highly recommend trying out this G Clay Today website. I order from them all the time. Um, I have all my pictures printed up with them, all of my art prints printed up with them. Um, so give them a try. <laughs> Their turnaround time is usually, it's usually about 10 days. Uh, before they ship back out, which is completely fine with me. Like, because of their quality, I don't mind waiting a little bit. Like, so it's not, you can pay a little bit extra to have it rushed and, you know, ship back out quicker. Um, but I have never been disappointed with them. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you because, uh, I mean, two years ago, I know I was kind of on the hunt and clueless as to, like, hey, where can I have my art prints printed up at? How do I ship them to customers? Uh, where can I have my pictures printed up at that isn't like, uh, you know, printing them off at the machines at Walmart. <laughs> um, so very affordable option. Amazing, amazing quality. Uh, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So uh, thanks for joining me with that and I'll see you next time. Bye.